Earlier during the turkey hunting season, I shared a question with you all and it had related to an article that I had written at Beretta USA blog, things that can ruin a turkey hunt. And I asked you all this. I was wondering, I wrote an article about some funny things that can ruin a turkey hunt and I'm wondering what is the craziest thing that has ever happened to you that has just totally ruined your turkey hunt? Let me know right in the comments below and tell me what is the craziest thing that has ever ruined your turkey hunt. So, just after sharing that question on my Facebook page, a friend of mine was up turkey hunting and he shared with me a crazy story that to me has to be a once in a lifetime happening. He was turkey hunting in Texas. He was hunting out of a blind, calling in a few toms and they're coming into his decoys right where they needed to be. And he said all of a sudden he heard a sound and it's a and he said he couldn't figure out what that was. And so he kept calling. The turkeys stopped. They weren't coming any closer. They were hung up. And he hears the sound again. <sighs> now, what do you think that would be? When he's telling me this story, all these things are going through my mind. I had no idea what he was gonna say. But he said then the turkeys turned, they ran, they hightailed it out of that meadow. And here comes shortly after, here comes deer. They're running past his blind, they're hightailing it, and hogs and all these other animals, all the wildlife is just getting out of there, just running like mad. So he's trying to figure out what this noise is. He gets out of his blind and he looks up and lo and behold, there's a hot air balloon right there above his hunting lease in Texas. And who would have ever thought in the middle of nowhere there would be a hot air balloon that would ruin your turkey hunt. That is one funny story that was shared with me after I shared that question on Facebook. I wanted to share some others that friends put in the comments because some of these are some pretty good ones. Some have happened to me, some haven't. I wonder if any have happened to you. Let me know in the comments here on this video what which of these might have happened to you and some of your thoughts about them. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Lewis Markle. He said, I called this Tom in for what seemed to be forever, and just as I was starting to walk him in, my youngest boy shows up out of nowhere on his dirt bike. The hunt was done for me, but at least Mama wasn't waiting for a harvest. You see, my boy, God bless that young man, he was searching for me to let me know that when I was ready for supper, it was ready whenever I wanted to come in and eat. Never did I get that Tom. I'm sure glad to hear that I was still gonna have a full belly and sleep on it. I actually have had that happen. Um, not that I was called in for supper, but I have had friends, kids show up and ruin a hunt on their four wheelers. Not a turkey hunt, but an elk hunt. But um, yeah, four wheelers can ruin things. <laughs> um, Raymond Capel, he says, the funniest I had, Mia, was I set up behind the blind that our friends were in, calling with a mouth call, bringing in some hot toms. When I heard a crackle of ground cover right behind me, I turned slowly and there, Less than an arm length away was a huge coyote staring at me. I about swallowed my mouth call. I don't know who jumped the highest, but he sure didn't stick around to find out. <laughs> That's another one that um, we've had happen. We've called coyotes in and it's kind of a debate. Like, do you try to remain silent and scare that coyote away or do you just shoot that coyote? <laughs> so that's a funny one. Thank you for sharing, Raymond. Douglas Martin, he says, a logging truck coming down a remote access road as I had a hot gobbler on the way in. To top it off, he stopped right between us and starts chainsawing. Needless to say, the hunt was over. And he shared with me a little frowny face on that one and I understand that. I bet that logging truck had no clue he was even there. <laughs> so better luck next time, Doug. Bubba Ferris, he says, I was sweet talking some birds on Shola Creek in Alabama. After about 30 minutes, I heard steps behind us and suddenly a freaking emu sticks its head around the tree. I'm not sure who it scared most, but the guy I was guiding said it was the biggest Dan hen he had ever seen. <laughs> I never found out where that emu came from or where it went. The best part was when my friend screamed and two birds started double gobbling. <laughs> that one's awesome, Bubba. Thank you for sharing. It reminds me of our emu. He's always sneaking up on me when I'm trying to call on our property. I suppose that's why I don't hunt on my own place. <laughs> Good one. Teresa Hunt, she says, 
The craziest thing that ever happened to me turkey hunting was actually this morning. I was sitting in my blind and three turkeys came in. I just knew that I had one when a coyote ran into the picture. Needless to say, the coyote got the turkey and I came up empty handed. Oh, those stinking coyotes. <laughs> Hunt ruined. <laughs> I hope you all had good luck this turkey season and you got some birds out there. I hope this harvests were successful. I'll be seeing you next time. Happy hunting.